Good morning everyone, I am Franz Nicolas Sotil, and now I will continue reporting the pre-writing concerns, specifically the purpose of writing and strong verb. But let's start first with the purpose of writing. There are different purposes of writing and they are all important in their own way. So we have expressive, we have poetic, connotative, informative, and metalinguistic. But let's begin with the expressive purpose of writing. Expressive writing pays more attention to feelings than the events. It is used to delve deeper into your thoughts, opinions, and emotions rooted in experiences or memories. Examples of expressive writing is personal journals, memoir, and more. So the second one, we have poetic. Poetic writing can be in prose and in verse. Anytime someone writes with an emphasis on the way the language is used, they have a poetic purposes. So the third one, we have connotative. This writing's purpose is to arouse the reader's feelings. Connotative writing could take any form as long as its intention is to persuade the reader or affect them emotionally. And the fourth one, we have informative. Context is informative purposes and informative writing refers to something that is external to the writing itself and has the purpose of informing the reader. So anything that um, informs the reader is, is considered as informative purpose of writing. And the last one, we have metalinguistic. Metalinguistic means the study of dialogue relationships between units of speech communication. Common and a piece of writing are example of metalinguistic. If a student attaches note to an essay explaining why the essay is late, the note is considered as metalinguistic. Another good example is the author's preference to a book. This, this is also considered as metalinguistic purpose of writing. So now let's proceed to strong verbs. Using wimpy or weak verbs can make your writing appear uninteresting and lackluster. However, using strong verbs can liven up your writing and keeps readers interested. So what is strong verbs? Strong verbs are the verbs that convey a lot of precise meaning without the help of modifiers or qualifications. It also shows action that your readers can easily imagine. So strong verbs is used so that people can visualize the life, the details, the energy, and the things we are writing about. In fact, using strong verbs is usually an appropriate stylistic approach. It makes your writing more concise, help you avoid vague description, and is said can make your readers interested in whatever you're writing about. So one example that considered as weak verbs is the to be verbs like is, um, are, was, were, and more. So take a look at these um, two sentences in the example. So in the first sentence, Anna is a nice girl. And the second sentence, Anna smiles at her classmates in the hall. So as you can see, the first sentence exists as having a weak verb because it does not create a clear picture for the reader and in that sentence, we don't really know why Anna is a nice girl. It is not precise. But if you look at the other sentence, we know that um, Anna is a nice girl because she smiles at her classmates in the hall. So that's why I can say that strong verbs is really necessary in writing as it helps our writing concise and can make our readers interested in everything we are writing about. So, to understand more about strong verbs, I will post a YouTube link in our GC. And the video will talk about strong verbs as a way of enhancing your writing skills. So, I guarantee that you can really learn something in this video that will help you in your writing. So, that's why if you have spare time, I encourage you to please watch the video. So that end my part and I will pass the floor to the next reporter. Thank you.